Now guys, now that my parents are now evacuated from their condo, they were nice enough to give us a bunch of stuff that were in their condo that we could probably use. And one of these things is pretty awesome. Check out what my parents had dropped off at our place. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. This turbo broiler, awesome. RJ has legit cookware, finally. This was actually ours that I lent to my parents so that they could cook. Um, you could roast a whole chicken in here, actually. Roast beef, it's really great. Hashtag not sponsored, well, not right now. Uh, standard appliances, which is a household brand name here in the Philippines that I used to endorse. Um, and I got a whole bunch of like free cookware. So this here is uh, very valuable. I'm, I can't wait to see and eat what RJ cooks on this. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, you've always been asking about how RJ prepares the meals. So I don't care what he says, I'm gonna vlog this time. So right now what he's doing squash. is chopping squash. So all the skin, chopped off seeds, all of that soft mushy part this will be fed to my roaches in the roach farm and you're peeling garlic and onions look see all vegetables we've got okra tomatoes potatoes it's filipino vegetables filipino local vegetables mmm i can't wait to see what you're making speaking of filipino vegetables i wonder when we're finally going to harvest my uh kang kong here it is so big like if you look back here like right there it's a lot and even the kamote the sweet potato, look at that. We could totally chop these leaves off and put them in our like instant noodle now. Mmm, it's even crawling all the way up here. So awesome. The basil still has some growing to do, but it's okay, we're patient. I didn't give the basil that much worm poo. They only had a little bit. So maybe I need to give them more worm poo. Squash is growing nicely. Coriander and sweet basil also growing nicely. And the sayote is growing too. Can't wait. Bad. These string beans are like, are they rotten? Just remove the seeds. I'll use the seeds. Oh, okay. Mmm. We're just gonna use the seeds. All right. And then the rest we give to my worms. <laughs> oh my. Mmm. What is this? Fish mm, with squash fish. and okra and coriander. It's from your mom. Oh, my mom gave it. Where did she get it? Oh, groceries. Aww. So I just cooked it. That's nice. Thank you, babe. Mm, and watermelon. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, isn't that special? Is that paprika? Oh, this is gonna be delicious. Mmm, let's taste it. Oh, it, the meat is so flaky. Now, RJ doesn't know what kind of fish this is because it doesn't look familiar, right? Mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. Quite meaty. So, yeah, meaty, buttery, flavorful. Mmm, and that coriander though, that just makes everything. I steam it with butter and paprika. Mmm, it is paprika. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, did you guys know I'm a professional eater? <laughs> I'm serious. Ask Jollibee. Oh my, mmm. It is so meaty. It's like got the flavor of it's kind of like tuna, but not really. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Squash. Mm. Oh, the squash is perfect. Sweet, soft okra. Mm. Mm -hmm. Love okra. Slimy, slightly crunchy. They also call it ladies' fingers, which I think is gross. Mm. Squash. I've got a new toy for Legaizy. Yes, I know Legaia. She sees it. Okay, wait, let me remove this toy and then install the new toy. Here, Legaizy, I got a new toy for you. There. All right, gotta love new toys. Someone's happy that she's got a new toy to destroy. That rhymed. Oh boy, do you like your new toy to destroy? <laughs> OMG guys, you won't believe it. So my parents are on the flight right now. They got business class. Wow, awesome. That is great. Not sure how that happened, but I know RJ paid extra to get them a seat with extra leg room. I don't even know if they were like selling business class tickets for this flight, but my parents lucked out. Thank goodness. Bye mommy and daddy. <laughs> also, I just want to clarify that this wasn't a case of, oh, pal saw a past post of ours, or they saw that the, my parents' last name was Busta. 
hostel, so they gave them extra like business class seatings. No, it was none of that. Otherwise, we'd be thanking Pell. This was a case of RJ saw that some seats were extra, um, just a little bit extra, right? Yeah. And then it also meant that it was extra leg room. So we did it for my parents' comfort. And turns out they were business class seats. Yeah, but we had to pay for it additional. We had to pay additional for that. And then also, they were saying when my parents arrived that the row that we had reserved was not in their system. So like, <clears throat> excuse me, we paid extra, honey. So RJ sent the reservation and they gave my parents that particular row, which happened to be business class seat. Just wanted to clarify that. So funny, my mom is like, your dad is loving the business class. He asks too many posts on his camera. Mayabang sobra. <laughs> my dad's asking my mom to take lots of pictures of him in business class. I'm glad guys, because this is a 19 hour flight. It was supposed to be a direct flight from Manila to Toronto, but turns out they made it a connecting flight for some reason. Like, Pal contacted us and said, oh, we're gonna change your flight from direct to stopover in Vancouver. My mom wasn't very happy about that but now my parents are happy thank goodness good morning mabuhay squad yes good morning legaisies Here's the bird. Mm -hmm. Woke up, prepared the guys breakfast, water, all of that. And just an update, my parents right now are in Vancouver. Yep, they're in Vancouver for their stopover. Must have been nice to fly business class to Vancouver across the Pacific. So they're there now waiting for their connecting flight back to Toronto, where they will also be in business class. Now, I just heard news that apparently they're applying stricter quarantine rules in Canada. So there's a possibility my parents will need to be routed to a hotel where they'll be in quarantine for two weeks. You know what I think about that? Yes! Love it! <laughs> the reason why I love that is because now my mom can't be hard-headed. I hope they gate them in, put them in handcuffs, and feed them old crusty bread. Just kidding. Um, no, for real. I would think this is a great measure. I mean, for the safety of everybody too, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm sure at a hotel they'll be nice and comfortable. If there are any symptoms that arise in anyone who was on that plane, they can treat it right away. They can isolate everyone on that plane, you know what I'm saying? So I'm totally for that. Like a strict quarantine literally at a hotel. Good morning. Love you. Love you. Are you saying I love you or thank you? Huh? Say. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Love you. Now some of you guys are asking, okay, well, what about plans for the house? When are you guys expecting to move in? Well, we were expecting to move in by the end of this year or the beginning of like next year. But because of this whole thing, not sure now. There's gonna be a delay for sure. I know, don't you wish you could be in your aviary? Like, how long that delay will be? Who knows? Like, they can't even get building materials because they're not shipping them at the moment. So. We have no choice but to wait, I guess, guys. Okay, guys, positive affirmation for Wednesday, April the 15th. Miracle follows miracle in my life. I accept healing miracles in my world. Wow, love that. The fact that my parents got like a flight home and the added bonus of business class was a miracle in itself. And I like that. I accept healing miracles in my world. There you go, guys, your positive affirmation for the day.
right, my Buhai squad. Now, you guys know what's next. RJ is going to be working on his master creation, his culinary masterpiece, his work of art for the stomach. My Buhai squad, I can't wait for us to see what RJ is making right now. RJ!